And it was just the, uh, how are you, the, the spring in the valve. The check valve. Disconnected. No, in the, in the. Spring in the valve. It's only, it's only a check valve. It's like a. I guess it's a just, guess water flow in one direction. It's a steel box. Yeah. Yeah, so he just disconnected and now yeah. it closed a little slower. Cool. But All right. Whatever. All right. Um, What's on the agenda? Mission. When we bought the house in August, the inspector told us, well, there was damage, water damage on the, the inside. Ceiling? So he said the water handler is sitting air on air handler. I'm sorry, is sitting on the rafters. Okay, it should be suspended with a bucket under it, whatever. A tray, a pan. A tray. So I want to take a look at that. Okay. Um, we have a bunch of split units. Let's see what we got. Not this one, but when we tried Video. last summer, yeah, they're very popular of, in Israel. So interesting. Yeah. Um, that, okay. Uh, have an E1. Error message. I have to Google it. Be honest with you. Yeah. Me too. No. So I. I When's the last time you, you checked the filters? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Could it may be E one related dirty filter yeah, okay. restricted airflow. No, I think when I Googled it, it said something with wiring. So I mean, uh, we can try that. Uh, this one actually works perfectly fine. There's good. in each bedroom. One of them always says E one. One of them sometimes Does says. Does it work it. at all? Um, one of them sometimes works okay. and then flashes E one. That one never worked. And the one in my bedroom is working as of last night, but it's not the air's not cold. Okay. I loaded. Let's it. let's focus on the central system first, okay. because that's what you know. I could. That's my profession. Got it. Okay. I, again, that's saying I'm not going to work with it. We will. Oh, yeah. Okay. But let's do that first. Get that out of the way, and then I'll like I said, I'm not going to Google the code. Right. Maybe. Okay. We'll see if we get the manufacturer on the phone, but I've okay. never worked on them. But okay. The, 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 the functionality is all the same. Right. Exactly. Okay. So how do you get to the app? Cathedral ceiling in the living room. So, yeah, yeah, the room. We have limited space up there. Yeah, it's a small space. Excuse me. Yeah. And let's check the filter. When's the last time you cleaned this filter? I, I haven't touched it. I just moved <laughs> in in September, so, so I haven't. You made, made room for me, huh? Yeah, and it's in there. Steve, let's get the little uh, step stool. Well. Not as bad as yesterday's job. <laughs> oh, God. What was yesterday? Is that yesterday bad? was literally, he had three air handlers in his attic, which was taller than this, but the guys who ran, like, I guess the low voltage wiring and the, and the cable and the ethernet wires all over the place and ductwork all over the place. And we had to replace one of the systems. That's crazy. How did he even get it in there? I mean, these wires look all over the place. Every time I look in there, I like, I can't. This is really nothing. Yeah. That's why I said this is a lot better than yesterday's job. And, and it's, it's sort of haphazard up there. The inspector was telling me that one of the ducts connecting to the air handler yes, is disconnected or is sort of disconnected. Uh, so okay. it's well, the return. So yeah. it's sucking in hot air. So the central system is not. Yep, it's running longer. Uh, uh, see, we got the line set up there. We have a switch here. Let's see what the switch does. Yeah, what the heck Doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's wait for Stephen to get the ladder. Always beware of loose wire, like this one. It's chilling there. Never assume it's live. And this is kind of a job where. You wish you had knee pads. Oh, God. What the fuck is 
Jesus. What's that? They should recommend us knee pads. What the fuck is this? No. This is abandoned. The old air handler. All right. Look at this. What the fuck would they think? That's a drain line. Connected to PVC. They got real creative with that. Wow. All right. And I, I'm assuming our air handler is up there. Oh, God. All right. We have a bunch of... Oh, wow. Just when I thought I've seen it all. Uh, voice memo that. Title. Just when you thought you've seen it all. I'm trying to maneuver my way around. I'm trying to maneuver my way around this disaster. I don't want to fall through the ceiling. Wow. Just when you thought you've seen it all. They basically took the flex shoved it into the return side of the air handler with an open house sign. That's a lawn sign, you know, house for sale, open house. No way. Swear to God, bro, swear to God. Look at that, holy shit. Wow, just when you thought you've seen it all, you run into a shit show like this. And the question is, ugh, how the fuck did they get this up here? That's the million dollar question. How the hell did they get this up here? All right. This is what I'm going to propose. We are going to replace the equipment. All right. We are going to relocate this air handler to over there or over here where this abandoned air handler is that was the original one with the house more than likely so it's about 60 years old right because our access is through that closet that we just crawled through and we're going to replace the flex if it's not long enough which appears to be 18 or 20 inches and bring that down there and we're going to bring all of the flex duck which goes to the supply plenum, which I don't even know if I want to go see, but let's go see. And bring those down there. And then, of course, properly balance the system. Now, I'm noticing these little tubes everywhere. See this? There's tubes everywhere. And it looks like the well, people who installed the ductless system put them in. All right, so... This is not that bright of me, but let's crawl across uh, these joists, or oh, whatever you want to call them, which I really don't, I shouldn't have to, but okay. Let's take a look at this. Uh, What's up? Good old St. Mike, I don't know how I, I don't know how I do this, but you know what? The money's fucking good. <laughs> the money's fucking good. All right, let's take a look at this. They made a, a uh, ceiling box out of ply, uh, plywood and then took and made a, uh, a stick on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. This is epic. This is epic. Now, let's take a look at all these little tubes. You see that? It looks like a condensate pump. And that's what it is, because there's the kitchen air handler, you know, the wall-mounted one there, going to this pressure, uh, this, this, this tubing, and then I guess discharges it out. Wow. You know what? When you're buying a house, helpful tip, bring a, an HVAC contractor and take a look at everything, because this is just a complete shit show. Wow. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. What was that, Zilla? <laughs> you had fun? Did I have fun? Um, you know, the conditions are pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm in a small little mini attic right here. 
and just beware of open wires. And he's gonna get a new system. I don't know about today or whenever, but, and it's gonna be over there where that old abandoned air handler is, all the way over there. I don't know how they got that up, their air handler up there, because even if they went to the return, which they probably did, um, it's not a good place for service. Um, or maybe it is, because if I could stand here, I can work on all the air handler right there. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea too. Yeah, but everything's gotta get replaced. Everything. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I don't get that. There's, see, look, the tubing everywhere. Everywhere. Now let's give them the news. Uh, in, the, in the interim, while he is tending to his newborn, uh, let's Google uh, Midia, M I D E A. E1. E1. And I'm curious, it's probably, you know, he's saying electrical probably. I'm willing to bet all those condensate pumps, they're all wired into the communicating uh, voltage systems of it, and that's what the problem is. Just more garbage, because they didn't really have a care of concern. Others. Let me know when you're ready, Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot and a lot of complete hack jobs in my career. I've seen people take, you know, the gas water heater exhaust and tie it into their gas drive. Okay. <laughs> um, and then go into a crawl space under the house. And I wonder why the carbon dioxide effect is going on. Okay. Um, this one is not a safety concern. This is more of just blatant disregard for just all morals. Okay. The return, well, let's start with the return. Um, there's a flex duct which goes to the return there and it goes okay. across here, okay. the front part of this. Okay. And instead of making or getting the pieces to properly attach it, this flexible duct, they shoved it inside the air handler and they took a for sale by owner sign, open house sign, like you see on the lawn, <laughs> that normally goes on the sticks, the stakes, and they shoved that in there to try to block some of the attic air from being sucked into it. That's just the tip of the iceberg, though. Um, this, register, <laughs> this register there, that register there, is literally held together with plywood and duct tape. And that's just more of the tip. Regarding the your ductless systems, right? Okay. They're using condensate drain pumps um, when you can't naturally let. Oh, and talk, we'll talk about the, the, the condensate for this system next, by the way. The what for this system? Like the drain, you know, the condensate for the main central yeah. system. Um, I totally forgot to see how it connects, but how it connected to the old air handle, which is still sitting up above your dining room which they adapted from PVC to copper and then with kinks in the line, no wonder why it's overflowing because the water can't drain because you have three quarter pipes which they size down. It's just, it's hysterical. But back to the ductless systems. That E1, now that I see what's going on up there, makes sense if it is an electrical issue. This pump, I mean this wall unit in your kitchen and I'm sure others, because I see I see clear discharge tubing everywhere. Just right, I see it on the side cut, of the house also. Cut, you know, just ended, opened anywhere, looped, it's just crazy. But um, the those pumps, which take away the condensate, if it has to pump it away instead of letting gravity take its course, mm -hmm. none of it's really connected. So the pumps are not even working? Doesn't appear to be. And that's probably why you get an E1, because they're wired into the wiring or the communication of the system. That's how it gets power. And if the pump malfunctions, it'll give you an electrical issue right. normally. Again, I have to confirm that with this MIDIA, M-I-D-E-A, but that's what it sounds like. And since all of them are doing the same thing, all of them have pumps, and literally there's just dead-ended uh, quarter-inch tubing, clear tubing, just all over the attic. That comes from directions and just like ends there. You know, I, I should have anticipated something like this, because you take a look outside with the... With the I want to go sick. It's, <laughs> it looks like it, it's a mess. you got to see what's going on over there. Uh, probably wouldn't surprise you. Let's see. All right, there's your central air conditioning condenser. Oh, 
It is a mess. Well, first thing, the white insulation, you see how it's flaking apart? Yeah. The reason why it's flaking apart is because the insulation that they used, or the lines that they used, is not UV rated. And if it's not UV rated, you have to cover it up. Right. They made no attempt to cover it up. They just zip tied everything together. It looks like this was once an attempt. Yes. Oh, yeah. they, they took something. Um, they took something to make it work, but at the end of the, I'm not saying you're going to rip everything out, but you're going to you're going to have to replace that system. This is your central. This system. is the central. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, that's why. And most of the ductwork, really, because there's no salvaging of this. Even I, I can't piece this thing back together. It's been neglected for so long. A, it's not even on a con an external condensate right drain pan. It's literally resting on top of the the ceiling uh, joist for the living room and listen it's at least 10 years old and when you start touching something that's old i am not going to be lie i don't want to marry your, your system right, right. right i'll marry a system if if it's a good new install but i i just can't i can't accept the liability for that right i can't right. and it's an r22 system so we know it's pre-2010 because in 2010, January 1st, 2010, they stopped manufacturing systems that actually, this was replaced after 2010. And installed properly. You know, the biggest reason for equipment failure is improper installation and or lack of maintenance. Here, it was never installed right to begin with. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, put, you know, lipstick on a pig and sugarcoat this thing and say, you know, okay, let's let's do this, let's do that. It doesn't pay to do anything to it. Right. What does a new system cost? What am I looking at? It depends on what, what kind of car you want to buy. You want to buy a Hyundai? You want to buy, you know, a Bentley? You what know, it's a very range? wide range. Yeah. But at a minimum, we might be able to salvage some of the ductwork, but based on what I, and I didn't go above the, the, the bedrooms. I was just above the living room and dining room. And when I see they use cardboard, uh, not cardboard, plywood to make a box and then put duct tape on top of it to attach the, the flexible duct to it, all bets are off at that point. Right. You know, you should really just rip it all out and start from scratch. And that way you know it'll work the way it should and it'll last a long time. Right. You know, so it's it's what kind of car you want to buy. You know, it could be, you know, 8,000 with everything and you can go as high as, you know, 20. It depends on how efficient the system that you want to put in is, and difficulty, labor, how much time we're going to spend here, which would be a day anyway. But the biggest thing is what type of equipment you're going to get. Do you want to get builder's grade that comes with a five-year warranty on the compressor only, or do we upgrade to 10 years you know, on parts, or do we upgrade to 20 years on, on certain things? How do I make decisions like that? Is there a, is there a place I can look? Due diligence yeah. and Again, I'm, I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be a glorified salesman. Yes, part of my job is selling and giving you options, but doing your own due diligence and doing research. And you have to form, you have to come up with a budget on what you want to spend and go from there. You know, for example, I was telling you that we were in this attic yesterday. He got the top of the line system that they make. It's, it's a given. Right. And the reason for that is it uses very little power to run. The compressor runs at under four amps of power. This thing runs at probably 25 amps of power. You know, it's, and the unit is whisper quiet. Right. So you get what you pay for. That comes, you know, you know, compared to this system here with what he got, four times the cost of just the equipment alone. Right. 